Alright. This is my last ditch effort. Oh, this needs to be here. Here it is, boys. <laughs> the last ditch effort to win this. I... I mean, as long as things work out like they have been, this should work. The only thing that sucks is it's going to take a little longer to get us to where we want to be because I had to take off like some counterattacks and stuff. I think I'm going to try to Knights of the Round before he uses his first Adrenaline. So that he has less stat buff at first. Personally deliver you a memory foam pillow with my face on it. And then you'll then you'll sleep like a baby every night for the rest of your life. I guess I could just start miming Knights of the Round now. You know what I mean? Like, why even wait? I mean, there is the off chance that... something kills me before, but it probably won't. I don't want the first guy to Adrenaline though, so I guess I'll wait. Just sit here and attack normally or something. <laughs> you wouldn't wake up and scream. You'd wake up and be like, mm, and go back to sleep. See more plus see more plushies? Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Coming to a 4 8 store. Yeah. I need you guys to attack Cloud because he's the only one with like counter stuff. He listened. Made of Seymour? You want me to like skin my cat, dude? What the heck's wrong with you? What <laughs> the heck is wrong with you? I'm telling Seymour you said that. He's not gonna meow for you anymore. He's gonna be quite upset. As anyone would be. Who was given that news. I think I'm taking a lot more damage. Wow, right as I say that, he comes up to the door and meows. You making a liar out of me? This might 
take a hot minute. Cloud's kind of the only one doing damage. And he has to get hit. So... The whole blue phase might be... Might be a little bit of an annoyance. Why not? Why not? Go ahead and use Gauntlet. I actually don't know if the stat buffs carry. Oh god, please miss. Didn't realize how low I was. Uh-oh. He's gonna final attack knights around here. <laughs> so I guess there's a knights of the round. Do I try to mount no, I need to I need to get Bob back to where he's supposed to be. Yeah, this is kind of annoying. I kind of need him to not kill anybody with the the lie strikes until I get to the end. Because every time he does kill somebody, they waste one of their nice little rounds. That's not what I want. How many do I have, by the way? Two? Should be two, right? Red 13 might have three, because he has two copies. I don't know if that stat buff carries over to the green one, though, because he does, like, disappear and reappear. So it does seem like it's two separate enemies. Like, don't one-shot anybody. Pretty alright with that. So the goal is to do a little bit of damage to the green one, and then just start spamming Knights of the Round and hope for the absolute best. I need to spam it in a, in a certain way though. I, I need to make sure none of them get negated. Red 13's like our saving grace here. He's got three Knights of the Rounds to his own name. I need to at least mime like one, so I make sure I have enough. Don't kill anyone. Ugh, okay. That's not... That's not the worst thing that could happen, but it's kind of bad. Honestly. I'm gonna try to mime it. I'm gonna see what happens. See if I can get really lucky and mine it. I really didn't want to start this yet. I wanted to do some damage before this happened. Because 
I don't think I have enough damage. And I got... I have three, four, five, six, seven Knights of the Rounds total, but I already wasted one. So I have six Knights of the Rounds. And they're not going to be doing max damage. And I need to do 800,000 damage. So that's... That's not enough. I'm going to have to mime at least two, I think. I think. And none of them... All of them have to be timed perfectly so they don't get peerless. But see, Final Attack Revive should automatically time it perfectly. While I'm reviving myself, that should be enough time for Peerless to wear off, I would think. Nice. Oh, you know what? Uh, there's another one. See, he's like not even... He's not even under 75% yet. I'm already wasting a lot of Knights of the Rounds. If each one does about... 100,000 damage, then I would need, like, 9. And I have 6, so I would need to mine 3 of them. Which would be pretty hard. But, I mean, if he can just go on a missing spree, that would be great. Before she died. Now she's gonna cast it, die, revive, come back, cast it. And then Cloud will try to mine. Actually, no, she isn't even gonna come back. Because, uh. Because Duel's gonna kill her. Unless he counterattacks and kills her, but he won't. He's gonna counterattack with adrenaline. Also, this didn't even do that much damage. Oh, because he has a barrier. Yeah, the barrier makes this bad. Like, it, Knights Around's gonna start only doing, like, 3k or something if they revive themselves and cast it. I should have made sure all their, ma all their magic stats are maxed. I don't know if they are. I think they are. Red 13's in Cloud's on. Yuffie's might not.
Now I am gonna get a mime off, but he's gonna be he's gonna be invulnerable. Oh no, mime he doesn't even have enough. Oh, but maybe he'll mime it. Nope. God dang it! I didn't have enough MP to cast it, which is really bad. Please lose Peerless during this. Yeah, life is, is... Final attack is long enough. And it counts it the whole time. Um, oh, nice, he mimed it. Perfect. Um, that Peerless will always wear off. I think I might have just come up with a cheese strat in my head. I think I might have just come up with like a cheese for this boss. What if I gave Yuffie nothing but final attack, life, final attack, knights of the round, final attack, life, final attack, knights of the round, final attack, life, final attack, knights of the round, final attack, life, final attack, knights of the round. Every t if she died, she would cast life, cast knights of the round, he would counter with peerless, she would counter with, well, wouldn't counter, but she would then cast life, which life's animation would potentially be long enough for Peerless to wear out, then she would cast another Knights of the Round. Red 13 ran out of MP a long time ago, which kind of blew this. I just needed to get her up, because she still has a bunch of revives left. But she died by frickin' duel and got ruined. Uh, okay, what do I want to do here? I just want to throw hero drinks on somebody. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're going to die if they get hit. Except somehow Cloud is still not dying. I don't even know how Cloud is surviving. Honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea how that's happening. Did no one throw a Mega Elixir? Where'd my Mega Elixir go? Oh my god, he is doing so much missing right now. I am so lucky. Red 13 is going to be fully buffed. If I can get a Knights of the Round out, it's going to do a lot. Oh, you know what? I don't think he can anymore. I think he's out of summon power. Can he cure it at least? I don't think he can. No, he can't. Shoot! Should have hero drink Yuffie instead. No! Alright, mine. Some people stream freeze. Looks like only two people did. Everyone else seems fine. Urban, thank you so much for the 2,000 bits! Could be here because... Could be here because bad internet and other thing. But while the Wi-Fi is working, I'm going to help reach the incentive. Thanks, man. Appreciate it a lot. I think you meant can't... Could not be here. The old sloth with the typos here. Yeah, Yuffie did max damage. I'm not even 100% sure why. I think... Well, I think she was buffed when she used it, maybe. But I think... Wasn't it a revive? I don't know. Some weird stuff's happening. He is max statted, and he's not killing Cloud, and I'm not 100% sure why. Cloud is max statted also, but I'm pretty sure... Like, he didn't even have a barrier. He doesn't even have a barrier. I don't know. I'm gonna roll with it. He's doing a lot of missing right now. It's... It's... 
This is happening, maybe. I think I'm out of... I think I'm out of Knights of the Round with everybody but Cloud, though. Which means... I need to mine... Get lucky and mine... A lot. Why is Cloud... I need to get rid of this counter attack, Sam. It's ruining everything. He keeps, like, hitting everybody and then... Yuffie does the Knights of the Round. Why did he not... He didn't appear list that time. And some weird stuff's going down. Tell you what. Here's the thing, though. Cloud can continually mine Knights of the Rounds, even if they don't go off. Like, as long as they... You know, even if the summon power is gone, if they die, they throw it up and then you can mine it. Oh god, why adrenaline out of nowhere? I was not expecting that. Of course, right when I Shadow Flare too. I did mine it though. I hope this does max damage, or some damage at least. It's not elemental, but it doesn't go through armor. So it doesn't match. What's gonna have to happen is, is Red 13 and Yuffie are gonna have to die and queue up Knights of the Round, and then Cloud needs to mine it. Which means Cloud can't get hit because then he counterattacks. But like, this is perfect. Yuffie died, but no one else did, so Cloud can now mime it. If he doesn't get hit. And he got it. Oh wow, he- Oh no, that's his own. That's his own. Alright, so he still had one more left. This is... this is getting close, man. I really like... I mean, this isn't like complete cheese because I didn't just master a bajillion Knights of the Rounds. I only have just enough to beat them. I have to make it work with mine. Honestly, I don't know if more mine would really help. Cloud always has his mine ready, it's just whether or not the timing is right. I mean, I guess I could just spam mine with everyone and hope one of them works, but... It's not even really cheese, because no one's ever beaten it otherwise. <laughs> I've never seen anyone beat it without a lot of Knights of the Rounds, because that's just the only way to do damage. I think the only way to truly cheese is if I just gave somebody a ton of final attack, revive, final attack, knights of the round, because I think that would work. Oh, bad time to adrenaline. Really bad time to adrenaline. Also, I'm an idiot in my mind after the hero thing. That's alright. At least he's fully hero thing. Now I can just wait. Hope for the best. Why did you get to attack twice? What the heck was that? Oh, because Red 13's out of revives. I think. Which is bad. But... Alright. 
Get my mind, please. Alright. How many has this been? Has this been eight? No. I don't think it's been eight. I think it's been like seven. Maybe two more. Yeah, I think after we beat him, I'll try, like, the actual just super cheese strat of just nothing but final attack revives, final attack nice rounds. Because, like, if that works, I just want to, like, this is the only boss I've ever found that I don't really have, like, just a sit here and watch him die strat. So if that worked, I could officially say I've broken every boss in, like, every mod ever. You know, been able to beat them without luck, that is. But that's a little too insane, like... Mastering three Knights of the Rounds would have only taken me a couple of hours. So, like, cheating that is just kind of saving us time, but... Mastering, like, that many Knights of the Rounds is pretty... Is pretty nuts. Like... It's a little crazy. Come on, get that mime out. That would be great. Miss. Okay, that works too, actually. Or not. No, it's all up to you. You have to dodge a lot. You have to dodge, Cloud! Oh wow, he actually got a turn. Can't believe it. I want to say one more after this might kill him. I haven't been keeping track, but... They've all been doing pretty good damage. They've all been doing like 7,000 because his barrier keeps wearing off. By the time Life 2 goes off, his barrier's gone, so... Yeah, like, at that point, I count it as cheating. I don't count what I did as cheating because it's only just a few hours of grinding, but having, you know, 12 nights of the rounds, that's something that, like, physically I wouldn't have been able to do. So, you know, without wasting a large amount of my life. But I, 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 I kind of want to try that afterwards, just to see how well it would work. Just to see if this boss is cheesable if you were willing to master 12 nights of the rounds. Come on, baby. Die! I don't think you're going to be dead, but die! Oh my god! Did I beat him? Oh my god, I did it! Oh, I did it! We did it! We did it, Chad! We killed him! Oh my god. Hey, he gave me a ribbon. We did it! We did it. And we didn't cheat. We got three nights of the rounds because we didn't want to grind, but we didn't cheat. That was all completely within the realm of Joe's understanding of the mod. He used just as many nights of the, ra nights of the rounds, I believe. I think he had one on each character. So, uh, we did it. We did it. Finally. He didn't give me anything either. What a, what a jerk. Thank you for the 148 bits. All right, do we try the cheese strat for fun? As a final, as a final goodbye to the hardcore mod. Let's do it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Let's do it. We need 
We need a lot of final attacks. And a lot of Knights of the Rounds. Why do I have a map? Oh, I see. He, like, changed me. Okay. Now this... <laughs> this is cheating. This game sucks! This game sucks. That is my... I could do full cure instead. Full cure is even longer animation, isn't it? Uh, maybe not. What's like the longest animation thing? Comet 2? Yo, 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 it's in Werewolf with the one tier. Tier 1 subscription. Thank you so much. Welcome to the crew. Thank you so much, man. Brand new sub. Phone figures in the chat. So many brand new subs today, man. Thank you so, so much. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you. Do I do, like, just revives or what? Because I think, like, Comet 2 might be a longer animation. I don't know. Revive's pretty long. This, all, this also gives me more revives. I think 8. I think you get 8 total revives. Actually, you know what? I think it needs to be something that's not revive because I will run out of... I think I'll run out of final attack revives. Like, I think no matter how many final attack... Hmm. How do I do this? I think if I have every time you die you cast final attack revive four times I think you'll only be able to die twice and then it'll run out because it only goes up to a max of eight but if you have separate final attacks then it doesn't do that so instead of revives I should do like full cure or something I don't know try full cure Full cure is pretty long, right? Let's try it. Oh, you know what? Uh, just as a bonus, I'm going to give Cloud his limit break so we can get through the first part a little quicker. And... Yuffie, what's your magic stat at? Okay. See you guys. Have a good one, my man. Thanks for coming. I am so glad we beat that boss, man. That was the most... That was, without a doubt, like... The most RNG-heavy boss I've fought in any mod. The only thing I've ever fought that was worse than that was... Uh, Braska's final Aeon, NSG, and SNO. So, uh oh, I gotta, I gotta trash some stuff.
get more wizard bracelets? Rip. Why not only buy one? Who would buy only a single wizard bracelet? Oh man, I I am just happy that fight is over, dude. I like I was afraid we we're gonna have to go another week without being able to start what we're doing next, which I will let you know after we do this. Um, oh, whoops. Did I load the wrong save? Oh, I, I think I loaded the right save, but I forgot to load it before. No, I did. I, I loaded the wrong save. Alright. So... We do revive and then full cure, full cure, full cure. Or no. Full cure every other one. So, like this. And then. Knights of the Round, Knights of the Round, Knights of the Round, Knights of the Round. So I don't need the safety bit. So I guess I'll go... God mode activate. Those health bars, 2,500 health. Can you say clouds of God? That's what Seymour was saying at the door. Clouds of God. <laughs> All right, let's see it. I think Cloud actually uh, Omni slashes here. No, it doesn't. It's after this. All right. I hope you. I hope you. Uh, I hope you're strapped in, because <laughs> we're gonna be watching some Knights of the Round. It's gonna. It's gonna be a hot minute watching Knights of the Rounds go off. But if this works. I'll be happy that I found an actual cheese strat for this boss. I wish I would have gotten Omni Slash off, because um, I don't want to run out of the revives. But I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> Alright, so while we're watching um, <laughs> Knights of the Round Apocalypse, I might as well talk about uh, what's coming up. So first of all, 
thank you guys so much for watching the hardcore mod. Um, I want to thank Joe, Joe, the creator of this mod. Um, it is always great. Seymour, I'm trying to say important stuff here. Every hour, I have another. You want to watch the Knights of the Round Party? You want to watch the Knights of the Round Party? Hmm? You want to dance to the Knights of the Round Party? Knights of the Round Party. Seymour's getting down and get funky with the Knights of the Round Party. Why did it not go off? Wait. Why did Knights of the Round not go off there? Hold on, Seymour. There's a problem. Why did Knights of the Round not go off there? It didn't before, it didn't that time because I'm out of MP. But why did it not the other time? I'm confused. I had enough MP before. Huh. Oh, maybe because he was already dead, that's why. Okay. I do have to make one small adjustment though. Meow! Small adjustment. Um, Seymour, what are you meowing about, bro? Um, I need MP absorb, which I think I actually already have enough, but <laughs> thank you for the other meow. No, not turbo. Absorb. I think one should be enough. What is the problem, dude? Come here. What's the matter? Come here. You want a toy? There's a, there's a thing right here. Come here. Ready? Go get it. No? Alright. Oh, wait. Wait. He might be going after it. So, the last one, or somewhere in here, we need MP turbo. I guess we'll just do this. So, the last one will be MP absorb. Which actually, that means that I don't really need this last full cure. So, instead of doing that, I could do final attack, final attack meow. I could do, I don't want to do MP turbo, because I'm afraid, well actually MP turbo only adds like 15 MP, so you know what, why not? We'll do MP turbo nights around for our last spot. Dude, Seymour's got some issues. I don't know what his issues are, but he's, he's got some. if this does it. Alright. If this doesn't work, then I'm just calling it quits, but I just wanted to see if this cheese would work. Don't hit. Oh. Hopefully I absorb enough MP. I think I will. Nice of the round usually absorbs a ton, because it's dependent on how much damage you do. So. Alright. So anyways. Can you, can you not get through the door? It's like wide open, bro. Wide open. It's wide open, buddy. Learn, learn how to door. Alrighty. So, as I was saying before, I wanted to thank everybody who watched the Hardcore Mod. It's been over a hundred hours it's been a lot of time <laughs> put into this mod so I want to thank everyone that actually watched all the way up to this point um, I want to thank Joe the creator of the mod it's not every day that you get a mod creator to like not only watch 
but um, to help out, you know. And, and Joe is a super helpful mod creator, not just to me because I'm the popular guy doing the videos, but like on the forums, anytime anyone has a problem and posts something, he's like immediately on there to help them. So he's just a really, really helpful mod creator. He's a really nice guy, so I want to thank him. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Magic Man, for the thanks to me. Um, and uh, I want to thank you guys on Twitch for hanging out. Almost all of you guys have been here like every Friday. And uh, it's been a blast. Um, overall, it was a crazy mod. Um, <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. Um, how much MP did I get from that, by the way? This isn't going to go off because he's dead already. You know, I should like throw... If I can. Um, I liked I liked the mod throughout the game. It was hard, but it was um, it was fair. I I don't know. I just like this mod. It's cool. It's definitely a different way to play Final Fantasy VII, and it takes out you know all the super OP stuff. Some of the OP stuff is still here, but the bosses are hard enough that it, you know, doesn't matter. Um, Duel kind of ruins some of the bosses. Uh, like, Bizarro Sephiroth kind of gets ruined by the fact that Duel just destroys them. I kind of wish Duel just, like, didn't exist at all. Um, but, what you gonna do? Um, other than that, though, I think it was a really good, I think it was a really good mod. Um, so, I told you guys that I was thinking about not doing another Final Fantasy VII mod, uh, next. There's been a lot of people asking, like, you know, can I do full playthroughs of some other games, just vanilla? Can I do some mods of other games? Um, and we've done pretty much all of the popular mods of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, not necessarily in this whole Let's Play thing. But uh, on the stream separately, I've done a bunch of the graphic mods. I've done, you know, a lot, pretty much every different kind of mod you can think of. Um, but in this Let's Play format, where I upload everything to YouTube, I've done uh, the hardcore or the Nightmare, which, you know, that was something. Uh, I've done the New Threat and I've done the Hardcore, which are both the really popular ones. So I was going to do some kind of like vote or something to decide what to do next. I was thinking about um, a couple different games I want to do, a couple different RPGs that either I grew up with or I never got to play, like um, Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI and uh, Legend of the Gaia I did play as a kid, but I wanted to do that as well. Um, Legend of Dragoon, same way, played it as a kid, but wanted to do it as a Let's Play. Um, however, I am going to put all that off and I am going to do one final Final Fantasy VII mod. And the reason is because I found it and I was so curious as to what it was and how it works that oops, I like couldn't resist but to try it. Um, so after these final episodes hit YouTube the next Let's Play is going to be the True Necrosis mod. Um, or ne Necrosis. I think it's Necrosis mod. Um, this mod was also made by Sega Chief, the same creator of New Threat. And if you haven't heard of it, <laughs> as soon as I explain it to you, you're going to uh, you're going to be interested. Put it put it simply. Um, so yeah, I was like, I, I was at the point where I was like, okay, I don't really care about difficulty mods anymore. I've done the hardcore mod, which is supposed to be the hardest mod in Final Fantasy VII that's fair. And I've done the new threat mod, which has like super powerful bosses as well. I don't really want to do another difficulty mod. I don't want to do another like just, you know, crazy Final Fantasy VII experience. I've had enough. But then I saw this mod called the True Necrosis mod. And it is so interesting that I just have to try it. The way, the what it is, 
is it is vanilla Final Fantasy 7. Everything is normal. There is nothing added, nothing taken away. You know, you can super mime Knights of the Round, you can do whatever it is you want to do, and everything's, you know, there. It's just normal Final Fantasy 7, right? With one exception. The exception is all healing has been taken out. Um, that includes restore materia, revive materia, MP absorb, HP absorb, literally anything that could ever give you more stats is gone. Or more health, I mean. This also includes, like, when the game heals you. So, like, when you go to an inn, when you change disc, any of these things. None of those work either. This also includes items. Elixirs, mega elixirs, potions, high potions, anything. Nothing heals you. Phoenix Downs don't revive you. When you get hurt, that damage is permanent. When you use MP, that MP is permanent. And when you die, that death is permanent. You start off on your regular level, level 6. But, you start with 9,999 HP. So, over the course of the game, the goal is to take less than 9,999 bits of damage throughout the entire game, basically. The challenge is, can you get through all of Final Fantasy VII on one giant health bar? Is basically the challenge. And, at first, I thought to myself, like, that seems super easy. Like, sounds super easy to me, because the whole first half of the game, nothing's doing that much damage to you. And then you could just, you know, grind and get to a high level and should be fine. I, I, I see no problems, right? But then I started thinking about it, and I'm like, man, you know, what if you get poisoned? What if, you know, you, while you're grinding, I mean, if you try to grind levels, you're constantly taking damage. There's no way in Final Fantasy VII to take zero damage unless you shield, which you don't get shield till the end. Um, yeah, there's there's no there's no um, I lost my train of thought. There's no like taking zero damage. You're always gonna take damage no matter what. So even if you grind or you know do the battle arena for final attack or any of the stuff that's really broken. Um, they're going to take damage at some point. The only exception is Sneak Attack, which with Sneak Attack, you could potentially never take damage because you could Sneak Attack like Knights of the Round or something. But first of all, that's that's way later in the game, so it's not necessarily going to... you're not necessarily going to get that far. And second of all, you have to master Sneak Attack for it to be 100%. It's not, Actually, it's never 100%. It's always 80% at max level. So... There is no way necessarily to like cheese it. You're gonna take damage. So it sounds really, really interesting to me, and it sounds like the way to win it is to truly know vanilla Final Fantasy VII and how it works. So I feel like it'll be a great series to watch if you're new to Final Fantasy VII, or you've only played through it once and you wanna know some like pro strats on the bosses. Because a lot of people watch the new threat mod and they're like, well, this is great, but it's a mod, so it's not really teaching me anything about Final Fantasy VII. So this will really teach you <laughs> everything you need to know about vanilla Final Fantasy VII because we're going to have to take everything into consideration and try to take the least amount of damage on every boss possible. Uh, so yeah, I think it'll be really fun. Should be a shorter series as well, um, unless maybe we fail and we have to like start all the way over. Uh, but it, it should be relatively, sh like, short. There's no super boss that's going to take us three streams to beat or, you know, super amount of grinding to do because you can't really do that much grinding uh, without bad things happening. So, uh, I need to get a Mega Elixir off at some point. Everyone's low on MP. Looks like I got, rid got through the blue form. Stupid Fool Cure takes too much MP. And the, the MP Absorb isn't doing enough for me. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be next. It should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm just excited to see how it goes. Maybe it's like impossible. Maybe it's not. 
not many people have played it. So it'll be really up to us to uh, adventure and, and see what it's like. Um, oh, Red 13's permadead. That's no good. See you, Damon S. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. I think it should be fun. Uh, you should see that uh, next week. There's no, no there's going to be no break. It'll be right from Hardcore Mod into the Necrosis Mod. Um, and then that should be, like I said, maybe a slightly shorter series. And then um, after that, we might do something that's not Final Fantasy VII related. Maybe we'll do uh, maybe we'll do something different. If I could Phoenix down Red 13, that would be great. Miss. Nice. That'll work. Oh man, I should have thrown a Mega Elixir though. Because he doesn't have enough MP. Miss again for me. Or just don't hit Red 13. Nice. Alright, now we're good. I think we win now. Unless I run out. I've used a couple, but... I don't know. Let's see what my count is. Like, Cloud still has seven Knights of the Rounds on his own, so... It depends, Mendo. Uh, if we get mostly through the game and then, like, lose or something, um, I'll probably start over. Unless I just think it's impossible or something. I don't think it will be. I think I'll play it till I beat it. You know, unless... For some reason, I think it's impossible or something. Um, but I don't think it'll be impossible. There are certain things that we are really going to have to dodge, though. Like, poison cannot happen. <laughs> um, I think if you're petrified and you end a fight, you end up with one health. So that can't happen. Uh, Lucky 7s can't happen. If Lucky 7s happens, the end of the fight, you have one health left. So that can't happen. Um... So there's like a lot of things we gotta dodge. There's a lot of things you don't even think about having, you know, that much health that early in the game. No, nothing's nothing's taken out. Um, the game is just regular Final Fantasy VII, but you have 9,999 HP. Duel doesn't exist in the regular game TSS. Only in the mod. It does exist, but it's never used. No, ins do not work. Yeah, I'll probably do it on active battle. Why not? I did this on active battle. Which, by the way, I'm the first to do it. So, I forgot about that. Oh, looks like Red 13's out. Of summon power. So he's... He's gooning now. Yeah, so so this is, this is cause for celebration. We're the first. We beat the hardcore mod. We did the entire thing, even Omega, on active battle. I'm really happy about that. I'm really, I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I'm proud. I'm proud of, I'm proud of what we've done, what we've accomplished. Proud of you guys. Proud of my YouTube audience. We did it. I accepted Joe's challenge, and I delivered. I gotta let Joe know. I gotta let him know. You've been thwarted. Oh yeah, bottom swell could be a huge problem as well. Oh uh, no, I haven't done a ranged new threat. I don't think I will. I might on a, at a future date, but... Maybe, but I haven't decided yet. We could maybe do that after Necrosis, but... I think we've done enough Final Fantasy Seven. Maybe we move on to something else and then come back to Final Fantasy so. Um But yeah, and, and you have my word. You you can you can write this down, YouTube. You can you can comment this down below so that it's permanent in writing. So I can't go back on my word. If we play the Necrosis mod, and 
something heals us, I don't care what it is, like, if I reflect a heal, which I'm pretty sure that wouldn't work, but if I somehow, like, reflect a heal off an enemy, or an in works for some reason because he forgot to take it out or something, or at a disc change, you know, I somehow get healed even though I'm not supposed to, I will go back and edit my health numbers to put them back where they should be. I will do it as true as I possibly can. You know, if something bugs out and it doesn't work right, I will go back and change it so that it's that so that it's correct. So yeah, even if something does heal us, I will fix it so that it doesn't. So it will be the true Necrosis mod. How far can we get in Final Fantasy VII on one health bar? We'll see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure even if you reflected like a healing thing, it wouldn't actually work because. Um, the way that he did it is basically like the flag that says this is healing, so heal instead of hurt is just like gone. And instead it just negates everything. So even if, you know, you were to do some weird thing to heal, as soon as the heal hits the character, the flag goes off and says it does zero. So I'm pretty sure there's no way to heal. No, there's no absorbing either. It's all the same flag. Like I said, there is no healing, and even if there is, I will avoid it, <laughs> so that it's that it's truly one health bar. Yeah, all the characters start with 9,999. They actually start with slightly less, because Materia still affects your HP limit. So like, uh, Cloud starts with 9,600, because he has lightning and ice when he starts the game. So uh, there is that. Uh, like I think. Red 13 probably starts with about the same, because he starts with, like, Bio or something. I forget what he starts with. So everyone that starts with, like, a Magic Materia will have a little bit less HP. Um, but other than that, everyone starts with max HP. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Like, I don't really care how hard it is, I just want to do it for research. I just want to see how it goes. I'm really interested to see, like, what really happens, you know? It just sounds so cool to me. I don't believe any, um... I, should go to to. I don't believe anything else has been modded, so... For example, the whole, like taking Cloud out of your party is still not available. So I believe if Cloud dies, we lose. Like, I think we just lose if, if Cloud ever dies. Yeah, Safer Sephiroth might have to be, like, Knights of the Round Cheesed or something, because su both Supernova and Heartless Angel are going to be nightmares. <laughs> But at that point, you're at the end of the game, so as long as you kill him, you're fine. Supernova doesn't kill, but it does 80% of your health. So it's just a ton of damage that you can't heal back. You might be able to continue without Cloud. He'll be in the party, he'll just be permadead. So, like, you'll always have two members. But yeah, I guess technically, I don't think he needs to be alive for anything. I'm wondering if this strat's gonna work. So far, it's working, but I'm running out of summon power. Although, Cloud's still got three. I don't know how much Yuffie has. I think we might have found it, though. We might have found the cheese to, to beat all cheeses. No, it's 80% of your current HP, not max. So, oh. Drop my wedding ring. Um, if you have, like, you know, five health left, then it does four damage or something. Yeah, it would be four damage. If it's 80. I don't remember what the percent is. I thought it was 80, but maybe not. I thought it was 60 or 80, but 60 sounds low. I think it's 80. But I'm just saying, like, because you can't heal, 
if you take 80% of your health, like, anything's gonna kill you and you can't heal it. So. So yeah, we have to literally dodge, like, anything that does that. We do have a whole party to work with, but, you know, it's hard to... The, the rest of the party is kind of underleveled, and it's hard to grind them up to a good level, because if you grind, you're gonna take damage. So... But yeah, I'm not afraid of, uh... I'm not really afraid of anything past disc... Like... Past the Midgar raid, really. Once you get W item, everything in the game is easy. If you just use hero drinks, everything does one damage to you. I mean, Emerald Weapon can do five damage to me if I use hero drinks. Um, so... Nothing is really super scary. I don't know if Emerald Weapon would be possible. Because, uh... Emerald Beam does 60%. That's what does 60%. Emerald Beam does 60% damage. And that would be pretty tough to get around. I guess... If you had all hero drinks, though, everything else he did would only do, like, 5 damage to you. So even if he did 60% of your health, he wouldn't be able to kill you very quickly. I was about to say, why did Yuffie not revive yet? I was getting worried. I'm like, Yuffie, where are you? So how many summons do you have left? Two. He's not... He's not using, uh... He's not using Peerless. I'm kind of confused. Is he not hurt enough to use it yet? There's no way. No, you can save and everything. Everything else is normal, it's just the health that's different. Yeah, if anything hits me with Demi, I don't, not very many enemies use Demi. Black Rose does. Um, Supernova is basically Demi. Emerald Beam is basically Demi. I don't know what else uses Demi. Uh, Ruby's tentacles do percent damage. I might have to do the level 1 cloud strat on Ruby to kill her, because she can't get a turn. If she gets a turn, I'm screwed. <laughs> like... I mean, I can negate any fire damage, but as soon as he uses, like, Shadow Flare, I'm dead, so... I would have to, uh, in the tentacles do percent damage, so... I would have to basically do the Dazer strat to beat Ruby, but I think Ruby would be possible. I don't know about Emerald. I think Emerald, you'd have to super cheese. You'd have to, like... Omni Slash, Countermine, 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 Countermine. So you'd have to somehow level up all those Countermines um, without dying. Which I guess you could do if you went to the Northern Crater and only got Magic Pot fights. Like if you reset every time you didn't get a Magic Pot fight, you could technically level up all your materia without ever taking damage. So I guess that's the way to do it. Just cheese Magic Pot. Put the save point down there and uh, just reset every time you get hit too much. Shadow Flare isn't the strongest spell in the game, but it's non-elemental, so I can't... There's nothing you can do to defend against it. Even Shield doesn't work. Um, Shadow Flare will always do damage. Now, you can, like, Magic Barrier and, you know, Hero Drink, and it'll do, like, very minuscule damage, but it will do damage. You can't negate it. And Ruby has a very high magic stat, so without grinding really hard and having hero drinks already on my character, it would do a good amount of damage. And then the tentacles do percent damage, so the tentacles would take me down to like 10 health and then Shadow Flare would kill me. Hopefully I get a Mega Elixir off. I kind of need to dodge something here. Time for Meltdown. You better dodge. If you can dodge a bullet, you can dodge a nightmare. I don't know. At least they have enough to revive. But they need to get a Mega Elixir off or else they're dead.
somebody needs to get a Mega Elixir off, or else they're both dead. Kind of funny, I didn't really think about MP in this fight. But Nice of the Round doesn't give me enough. I don't know why it doesn't. But it doesn't give much MP. I don't know if it gives any. Did I, like, do it wrong? I might have done the MP Absorb wrong. Uh, Big Guard's useless in this mod. It only hits one person and gives them uh, both shields and haste, but since I did the entire thing on active battle, shields are practically useless, and Lunar Curtain or Light Curtain would be better anyways. And against bosses like this, it doesn't matter because he one-shots you regardless. Please get... okay. With that, he should be either dead or have too much health for us to win this. Actually, Cloud's already out of summon power. Are they both out of summon power already? I think I lost. Guess he just didn't do enough. Yeah, it wasn't enough. You would have to get to this point and then have like one of them have it going. But yeah, it's possible. You could potentially cheese like this, but it's not. Doesn't matter because we did it a not a less cheesy way. So, alright, that's going to be the finale of the Hardcore Mod. I want to thank, again, everybody who watched the hundreds of hours on YouTube and all of you that hung out with me uh, throughout the entire Twitch uh, stream of it. It's been a blast. I've enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the Necrosis Mod. That will be next week. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I felt like there was something else I wanted to say, but... I don't know what it is, so... Fake and gay.